Now we gotta do plumbing. Yay! This is what I'm planning for right here. I'm gonna put an elbow on each one of those, one going that way, one going that way, mm -hmm. into the dog-eared elbow, dog leg elbow, drop, 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 dog, ear, drop dog ear, ear elbow. elbow. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's each one on each side right there. Okay. Bolted down to this thing or screwed down to this thing. To the yeah. wall or to this? To, the, to this. And that's where the little nozzle and That's where the nozzle will be both pointed like this way with both handles on this side. So we both can pointed which way? This way. Oh. And, then you'll, and you'll be able to reach through. Reach in and grab, grab. Okay, So gotcha. it's not the wrong way. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Sounds good to me. All right. So we just need some elbows. Elbow baggins. Elbow baggins. What's going on here? What? Is that the wrong size? No. What just happened? Oh, I know exactly what's going on here. I think. What? It's the right stuff. I tighten this thing down all the way. It's actually tightening on now. No wonder we were having so much trouble with that. What do you mean? You weren't getting it on all the way that whole time? This was loose, and these things weren't spreading out enough until I did that. Oh my gosh, so you've been using it this whole time? That's why you've had to go so fast to get anything in. Now so. you have like plenty of time to oh get it in God. there. Oh my God, yeah, I need another elbow. It's right here. These are things you just can't know. Elbow baggins to the rescue. Yeah, it's tightening up now. That's so cool that now you don't have to like be so fast about it. Yeah, no kidding. That's so funny. Oh God, huge difference, man. Oh my gosh. Wow. Yay, we know how to use the tool right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Uh-oh. Oh no, the elbows won't fit through. We're gonna have to hog out that hole a little bit. Well, I have just the tool for that. We'll just waller it out with your new tool, won't we? Yeah. What is it called? A Dremel something? Dremel oscillating tool. Yeah. Totally deaf now, but it works awesome. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> okay. Okay. I cannot believe how much easier this tool is to use now. I didn't have this tight on this. It was unscrewed a little bit, probably from me dropping it. Go! Go! Get it on there! Oh, we did it! And so it was making it so you can see how this expands right here. Well, just that tiny bit of it being screwed out made this not expand as far. And so I was having to really rush to get these things in, but you actually don't have to. And it's a warm day too, everything's expanding quicker, so good, good find. Let's see, let's do the... Drop ear elbow. Wow! You <laughs> just got it right on the first try! Fancy, you did something right! No way, I wanted it to go to my head.
Maybe having to screw it down just to get the thing on tight. Yeah. And then unscrew it and move it. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't know if I can get it all the way around again. Within the three inch allowance that we have. Yep, it only comes out two and a half, actually less than two and a half inches. Excellent. Since uh, we got to do a pressure test today, it's really important. So we're missing one of the dropper elbow, drop, drop leg elbow, whatever it is. <laughs> drop your elbow. We thought we had it and we don't. So I'm just going to put an end cap on it and so to block off that one and then there's a couple other places we got to do the same thing so we can put water in the system fire up the pump and make sure water's not squirting out everywhere because you don't want to find that out after you've covered everything there we go one cover okay so now we just need to add ends to these two pieces right here. So you actually have, I actually have to hold it there now so that it, it tightens in the right place. That, what a wonderful discovery that was. <laughs> what a wonderful discovery. Is, That's what we're here for. Doing it the hard way so you don't have to. That's the truth. I've done it the hard way my whole life. I'm going to take this, slide it in there, and then I can put this on like that and tighten this down right here with a pair of pliers or a wrench. I just got to get the wrench. But I can do both of these real quick. Let the other side go. And this is just for pressure testing for now, like that. So I'll just tighten these down and these will be like firmly on there. Okay. All right. We can now gotta put the pump in. We broke one of the nozzles off of our pump. Right there. We must have stepped on it when we were building the bed. So we're going to keep this as a backup because if something breaks, it has a load of parts in here and a new motor. And we'll just switch it out with this one here. But we also, I picked up a really cool, some, uh, some noise dampening uh, posts that I'm going to add to this thing to uh, even cut down on the noise this pump makes even further. Good. Just way better. Good. Well, that's one thing checked off the unfinished business. It is. So exciting. It's our first fill with water. That's so cool. I wonder if you can see it through the tank yet. No, it's still below the two by four. Okay. We've got the everything installed. We just finished the plumbing. Maybe. <laughs> and so um, I've got my little five amp power supply hooked up to our uh, pump right now. So we're going to turn it on and I, well, we put water in here. So I'm going to turn it on and then what I would expect to happen is the pump's going to come on, stay on for 
some short length of time and then turn off because the pressure switch will turn it off and that'll pump some of the water into the system and then we need to open up and let the air out of all the lines and see if uh, make sure there's no leaks anywhere so here we go we should be able to hear a hissing sound if there's a leak well it's quiet Now we're looking for water <laughs> or air, air hissing sounds. Oh, 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 gotta turn off the water. We need the handle for that right now. Get the bucket. Get me in the bucket. Give me the bucket. Give me the bucket. Oh. Where's the f handle? <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god. Why don't you go turn? There's nothing else. Just flick the switch on that thing. On what thing? Oh, I got to deal with this right here. You got it? There. Where's the handle? Oh, it's off. Holy crap. Okay. Well, okay. that was an event. <laughs> okay. Is that thing still humming? It's still ticking. What'd you say? You got a leak right there. Oh. What, what is it leaking out of? Right. Might have just been something faulty, huh? You can hear the the switch in there. <clears throat> Better, I think I'll do it again.
going out to the bus today. I was checking for uh, what, uh, how much plywood I needed for around the uh, where the toilet's gonna go, and totally forgot that we had left the pump on to test for water leaks. And so immediately I ran around looking to see how much water I lost and what I was gonna need to fix. Nothing. Big goose egg. This big PEX assembly here, perfect. Not a drip of water over here at the, uh, where the washing machine is gonna go. No water in the shower, back behind the shower. No water anywhere. And then back here, the only leak we had in the entire bus and our entire plumbing was right here. Replaced it, no water. Nothing back here. Nothing back there, all behind the scenes. Everything is waterproof. And that was just such a good feeling because we've seen so many videos of, you know, other people using uh, PEX and then, you know, pressurizing their system and finding spraying leaks of water and stuff. And the only leak that we had was a, a, a slow drip right by the pump. In fact, it was something I had done probably an hour prior and uh, we fixed that real quick. We have no leaks in the whole bus. So happy about that. So happy. It was vexing me too. I was vexed. I was over here totally vexed. I've been vexed for about half an hour.